show, show a little bit of what I can do. You know, I know I can do everything that uh, NBA team needs, and I just try to go out there and show that. Yeah, you've been here a couple times before, Summer League. Is there anything different you're trying to show this time as opposed to maybe those other two, <laughs> couple times? Just trying to go out and do the same thing. I, you know, do the same things I always do. I mean, um, I, this is like my third time playing right. Summer League, so, I mean, it's really nothing new, you know. I just, just try to go out there and do the same thing. You know? So you, you're, play, you're, you're not playing in Europe, you know, anymore, right? You just, they, they, they moved on without you, right? No, no, no. Uh, the team did bring me back, but uh, I mean, it was a lot, you know, a lot that went into the situation. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I mean, stuff like that happens every day. Yeah. What have you been doing since that happened? I mean, this, that was like last month, right? Yeah. Well, I, I was supposed to have surgery at the end of the season, but <laughs> ended up not having to have it, thankfully. But uh, you know, I've been in the gym for like a week and a half, so you know, I've just been trying to get ready to come here and play well. That's, that's about it. What, um, playing in Europe, what has that done for your game? I mean, you think these last few years? Uh, I think it's helped me overall, you know. Um, the game over there is much different than it is here. And, um, you, you definitely have to, uh, use your head when you're playing over there, you know. And, uh, I mean, I've learned to do that a lot more. Can you just talk a bit more about some of those differences and how they kind of, when you come back here to play, like, an NBA Summer League, how that, how you have to adjust? Yeah, well, you have to be a lot more efficient over there. The floor is a lot smaller than it is over here, uh, the game is slower, you know, so things like that. You know, the players are a lot less athletic. And, um, I mean, there's no defensive three seconds, you know, right. like that. But, now you could have gone to maybe the D League when you came out of school when you weren't drafted. Why? Why did you go over to Europe? Because I had a family, you know, and I had to right. uh, look out for my family, you know, and. Uh, that, the D League wouldn't have allowed me to do that. Right. For some of these guys that like don't get drafted, you know, do what would you recommend they do? I mean, like from a basketball standpoint, maybe not from like a livelihood standpoint. Uh, just keep working, man. I mean, keep working, stay confident, and um, have faith in your game. Okay. What? Why Phoenix? I mean, you, you know, you could have gone to, I guess, a number of other teams. How did you decide to play for Phoenix this year? Uh, well, I played with them last year, and um, I mean, I'm familiar with the system, and um, you know, I, I like the way they play. So, I mean, I chose to come here over the other teams. What other teams maybe were looking at you? New York, New Jersey, a couple other teams, but I like Phoenix. I'm more comfortable here. How do you feel, kind of running this, I guess, this offense, you know, in here in summer league? Uh, right at home, you know. Still right at home. I mean, the day we shot the ball very bad, but uh, you know, when shots fall, the offense looks a lot better, man. But I feel comfortable running off. Is it nice that you know you are the starting guy, where maybe in previous summer leagues, you know, sometimes you started, sometimes you came off the bench? Yeah, well, I mean, it just feels good to have opportunity to play, you know, get out there and show my skills. You know. I mean, as a player, that's all you can ask for, a chance to play. Uh, Phoenix, I mean, compared to the two teams you played so far, you guys only have one lottery pick. You know, Houston had a few, Toronto had a few. Does that make it easier or harder for you, you know, kind of uh, trying to showcase yourself? I mean, it's a lot tougher for me as a point guard, you know, but I mean, I think the fact that we only had two days to kind of, you know, get, get the system down and, you know, to kind of gel, I, I think that had, has a part to do with it too, but you can't make excuses, you just have to go out there and play. Right. Hard. Is having that, like, make, make you need to score? Or more. I mean, how do you adjust your game based on what the personnel is around you? Yeah, well, I mean, I, I know I can score. You know, that's that's not uh, <laughs> something I need to show these guys. It's it's, it's, it's running a team and you know making sure other guys get the, the ball in places where they're affected right. that I think they need to see. And I, I mean, I just try to go out there and do that. Uh -huh. What do you think you still need to work on the most in your game? I just need to continue to improve in every area. You know, I think I try to do that. You know, I try uh -huh. to be a better passer, be a better defender, better shooter. And um, I mean, as long as I continue to take that approach, um, you know, I'll be fine. Is there any one area that you really think you're going to try to focus on? Not really. I try to focus on every every area, uh -huh. like every area of my game. Uh -huh. Okay. And the last thing, you know, can you just fill in this sentence? An NBA team should sign me because. I would be a great backup for, oh, I, I feel like I can start in the NBA, so, I mean, that, that's just me. I'm, I'm very confident. I'm